Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, but I have chosen to add also XRP uh, to the list of uh, technical analysis for cryptocurrencies. But as you can see, we can start by Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin has fallen significantly today. We were roughly down 10%, 9%, 10% um, uh, highs today. We had a massive pullback. Now we're trading at 31,500, but we went down all the way down towards 28,240. So probably the reason why we found some kind of support here is just because we're just above the 20 exponential moving average so that's probably the reason the reason why we fell is because we had an absolutely ridiculous move from roughly 28,000 all the way up to 34.691,000 so yes um yes i know that people are going to argue that uh, or, to say that this is the new currency in the world and so on. No, it's not. It's, it's just not. The reason also why this is uh, growing uh, as fast is because young people prefer cryptocurrencies um, compared to gold, for example. So they're basically pumping their money instead into cryptocurrency in order to use it as a safe haven uh, instead of basically gold. And today we just saw a reversal of that people basically selling a bitcoin in order to transfer it over to gold gold was up around uh, over two percent today and while bitcoin was down by nine ten percent but if you look at the bullinger band for example for bitcoin we can see that the reason why we fell is because in the daily chart we were way 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 outside of the bullinger we we're way overstretched at this current stage, even though we fell roughly 9-10% today, we are still significantly overbought. Technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still bullish. The stochastic has crossed the signal line. It's been bearish the same. But while the CCI is still bullish, even though it's turning around quite significantly, we're above 100. And the RSI is still significantly overbought. So even though we have a fall of roughly 10%, it is still overbought. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are still just ridiculously overstretched. Even though we fell uh, 10% today, it was just underneath the top of the Bollinger Band. But still today, we're trading way, way above the top of the Bollinger Band. So we could see an astronomical fall in, in tomorrow's session. That is that is possible. So. People are you know, they're saying, no, that is not going to happen. Yes, it has happened basically before. If you go back to 2017, we fell 50% in one week. So from, from roughly 20,000 all the way down to uh, 10,797. That is basically in one week. So if that were to happen here, we will fall, well, basically half of uh, 34 Point uh, seven seven hundred and and eighty eighty seven. That is that is far. That is really 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 devastating. We'll go all the way to seventeen thousand roughly. That would basically make sense because that is basically the middle here. That's just at the twenty exponential moving average, and the middle of the Bollinger Band is the, the normal or simple uh, twenty moving average. So we could basically see Bitcoin fall all the way down towards this area. And that would also make sense if you look, for example, at the Fibonacci retracements, that, that we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement just here at 19,000. We have the 60 Fibonacci retracement roughly at 16. At 19, I'm sorry, the 50 Fibonacci retracement at 19,500 and the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement roughly at 16,000. So... It is possible. It has happened before. I think this is a massive warning sign. It, it has been an extreme 
the growth the last uh, few months in Bitcoin. And I'm, well, I'm hesitating basically to want to sell this, but uh, but but um, still, it is so volatile. It's just uh, ridiculous. It's almost untradeable at this current stage. So it is just. I'm not saying it's going to be the end of Bitcoin. It's definitely not. This is something that is going to continue on. But um, people are have to basically be uh, be uh, be careful here. This is not the right time to buy this. People are buying it because. It is her psychology. If you see something going up, then you want to join the game and you buy and buy and buy. And the more it goes up, the more you want to buy until you basically go outside of this Bollinger Band. You become the RSI becomes significantly overbought, and then people start selling, and then you are in big trouble. So wait until it falls in order to enter this. Um, a plausible entry point. In the daily chart, it's basically here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. That is a possible, uh, uh, we'll see a pullback here at 26,000. But it is also possible that we'll fall 50% all the way down to roughly $17,000 um, for Bitcoin. So let's look at Etro. So we have also fallen quite significantly here. It's the daily chart. We went all the way up to 11. 1161 um so yes and then we fell to uh 1033 uh, and still we are significantly over the top of the bullish band we could actually fall all the way down towards the 20 exponential that's roughly down to 713 before we found any kind of support so still stay far 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 away from this this is a absolutely crazy mark this is basically stupid money that is buying this all the way up there and uh, smart money money that is basically starting to sell it because people are cashing in on on this massive rally so a pullback towards 750 that is at this point your entry point that sounds crazy when you're considering where we are at this current stage but that is basically your entry point if you want to buy this Technical indicators are still ex extremely bullish. We are significantly overbought. We're at 86 at this current stage. The CCI is at 291. So everything considering above 100 is bullish. And uh, stochastic is turning around. That is a warning sign. And this is definitely also a warning sign. But the MACD is basically shooting up to heaven at this current stage. So pull back towards 750. That is basically your buying opportunity. That probably take a while. So let's look at uh, our new cryptocurrency. My plan is to add one cryptocurrency at a time. So I'll have roughly five cryptocurrency in my technical analysis. So this is uh, XRP. So this is the first time I basically um, uh, make uh, an analysis of uh, XRP. And uh, first of all, we have to go back to the weekly chart in order to see where this basically started. So it was roughly at um, in um, 2017 uh, we started here and it didn't grow much in the beginning but then it basically took off at the end of uh, 2017. Roughly the same time where basically Bitcoin started growing uh, exponentially. This also started growing exponentially, got way outside of the bullish band here and then broke down a very similar move to to bitcoin however this never ever um, recovered really from this massive um, increase bitcoin for example fell from 20,000 down to 3,000 and then up again towards 15,000 back then and now we're trading at 31,000 and we have seen this recent um, increase um, i'm guessing people are looking at this and seeing that Okay, this is where Bitcoin used to be at one stage. It used to be valued at roughly zero point thirty-two dollars, and now it's at thirty-one thousand. So if you start investing in this now, and then it turn it becomes thirty-one thousand, well, you'll be very, very, very rich. Um, the problem with 
cryptocurrency is that there's no limit to how many cryptocurrencies there can be. That's why I'm trying to, as an academic discussion, bit, uh, cryptocurrency are technically worthless. In essence, they're technically worthless. Because if everybody has the technical skills in order to create a cryptocurrency, well, there'll be an infinity number of in cryptocurrency, and everything that basically has an infinity number, it basically is worthless. It's like considering everybody in one country that has, for example, in Germany that has the as the euro, everybody in, the, in Germany could basically make their own currency. It would basically make the currency, well, worthless. So, but people are still buying into this. At some point, um, this market is um, most likely going to absolutely collapse because central bank will, central banks will create their own digital digital currencies, and they will not accept another currency that it's competing against their currency so this will never ever become a real currency that you can buy with and so on so people are using it as a safe haven at this point and um, yes i don't really think that is working but if you look at uh, xrp if we see this massive rally here from the 0.2514 all the way up towards the 0.70 706 and then we fell again all the way down to 0 0.1678 so at this current stage if we look at the technical indicators we're not even oversold yet we're not even based at the bottom of the bullish band here so so we could see this fall even further however it seems like we have found some some kind of bottom here uh, roughly at this point so we can see that we tested it here, here, and here. And this has historically been uh, a bottom for this cryptocurrency. And we are basically turning around from this point. However, we need to see the CCI go above zero. We need to see the stochastic turn around and also the MACD. So until we start trading above the 50 moving average and also the 20 exponential moving average and are heading back towards the top of this bullying band here and then i would not consider basically buying into this at this point the 50 and the 20 exponential also the 20 simple moving garage are acting as uh, resistant and we have to break through that before uh, entry to this market otherwise this is a fairly volatile market it has been the last uh, few uh, few weeks so uh, so before we start trading about that i would not um, enter this market at this any, any point so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much